Hello, uh, my name is Thomas Vanover and I am the Chief Building Official for the City of Cleveland Building Department and I'm here today with TV20 to discuss uh, some news reports that have been out there regarding the cladding and the flammability of Cleveland Brown Stadium. Uh, there's been several reports based on the Grenfell Tower fire in London that was a tragedy and it is very unfortunate and we're very saddened by uh, and this, it happens that the Cleveland Brown Stadium uses some of the same components that were used on that structure when it was uh, recently remodeled. I'm here to explain that although uh, one of the components that you've probably heard a great deal about, the exterior cladding, is the same on Cleveland Brown Stadium as it was on Grenfell Tower. However, that is one piece of a much larger system of pieces a uh, system that has over a dozen different components. Uh, it's important to understand that as one piece, the aluminum cladding did not cause uh, the failure at Grenfell Tower as not the, you know, is not the primary source of ignition or even the dangers or the hazards that happened. Uh, Grenfell Tower was wrapped in a styrofoam type insulation and there was uh, an air gap component and some other installation issues that caused the fire once it got out of the building to spread rapidly. Here at First Energy Stadium, the installation is entirely different. Uh, the installation are metal components, aluminum components, and the aluminum cladding mounted to a concrete structure where there is no polystyrene insulation wrapping the building and there is no danger of that highly flammable product causing a failure. Furthermore, Cleveland Brown Stadium is a fully sprinklered stadium, uh, as are many or most in the United States. So the risk of a fire ever making it to that point is minimal because it's an entirely non-combustible structure with a full sprinkler system. Furthermore, this Cleveland Brown Stadium has a full alarm system, smoke detection system, and every event held there is supervised by a group of firefighters from the City of Cleveland Fire Department to maintain safety, to maintain egress ways in and ways out, and to make sure that the entire experience is safe and fun and healthy and happy for those participating. Uh, so just in summary, the cladding that everybody's reporting about is an aluminum cladding that wraps some, some exterior components of the building, but it's part of a much larger system of components and they're non-combustible components that, and the cladding itself is not a flammable material. The dangers that happened at Grenfell, although tragic, here in the United States and here in the state of Ohio and here in the city of Cleveland, the codes and the standards would not allow for the installation to happen in that manner. Uh, the building was built to code, to the standards, and they put the you know, highest uh, level of engineering and design when they did it originally and when they remodeled it recently. So feel safe, uh, have a good time, and enjoy the uh, city and uh, First Energy Stadium.